Hi, this is Marcus, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do cross-domain tracking with Google Analytics and the Yoast plugin for WordPress. So before starting, you will need some tools. You will need a Google Analytics plugin made by Yoast. You will also need a Google Analytics account and finally, a text editor like Notepad. Are you ready? Let's start. I am now inside my WordPress dashboard. So the first thing you need to do is to install the plugin. But before doing that, I just want to say that what we're going to do, I'm going to do it just for one website. But if you have two websites or three websites that you need to link together, you will have to do it two or three times. And you will have to do it in the same way, except for one thing that I'm going to show you in a moment. The first thing in every single website, you need to install the Yoast plugin. To do so, just go to plugin, add a new, and type Yoast Google Analytics. When you click on search, it should be there, Google Analytics for WordPress, and you will click on Install Now. Now that this plugin is installed, you will need to configure the plugin. But before doing that, you will need your Google Analytics tracking ID. And this is important. In cross-domain tracking, you should have one tracking ID for all your domains, okay? So the same tracking ID on your two or three domains. Now, to be sure that you are using the same one, I recommend you to go in Google Analytics, select the account that you want to use, and then click on the admin section, and you should see the tracking info. So you just copy your tracking info into your notepad and that's it. That's all you need. You can close Google Analytics. Now <clears throat> that you have your tracking info, you will go to settings, Google Analytics. And by default, this will be like this, but you just select manually enter your tracking code and you will paste it here. So remember the same tracking info for all the domains and subdomains that you want to track. I recommend to use it in the header and select show advanced settings. Now scroll down a little bit and you should see enable cross domain tracking. Make sure that this is selected and then you will need to do two things. The first one, you will enter the domain name. In my case, this is simple analytics. So this is the primary domain. And the other domain that I'm going, I want to link to is marketing automation expert. This, so this is my other domain. If I was tracking a subdomain of simple analytics, for instance, shop.simpleanalytics, I will put simple analytics here. Okay. Like this here. Okay. But I'm not doing this. So I don't need to do that. And once this is done, just scroll down a little bit and be sure that the set alpha linker is selected. Then you click on update Google Analytics settings and you're done. So what the plugin will do is that it will search among all the links that you have. And once it sees a link pointing to my other domain, in this case, marketing automationexpert.com, it will add the Google Analytics link function to the link. So it will copy the cookie information and send that to the other website. So it will be available to the other website. It sounds complicated, but it's not. Let's see how it looks like. I have a test page. And now I have a link to marketing automation expert. When I click on that link, see what will happen. I go to marketing automation expert. If you look carefully, you will see a lot of parameters. 
Those parameters are in fact the cookie that was stored in Simple Analytics. And those cookies are now available to the marketing automation expert. So when I will log in to Google Analytics and I, I want to check the traffic source, to marketing automation expert, I will, I will see that the traffic source is coming from my list. It won't be coming from Simple Analytics. It will be coming from my list. So this is very important. So by doing that, I am preserving all the traffic source and all other information that was available in Simple Analytics. So that's it. That's all you have to do. So remember, if you have three websites, you have to do the same thing three times and don't forget to use the same Google Analytics ID. So that's it for today and I hope you enjoy this presentation.